This is our final challenge in this um, course. And it's a doozy. They have us doing something we've never done before. So you probably have an idea of what you're trying to do. It's just you're doing something in a new way. So let's work on it. Okay, first, for B and bananas, we want to turn to B. Okay. Now, notice our bananas are 0, 1, and 2. If this was 0, we'd be in trouble. We wouldn't be able to just use a for loop. But they wouldn't do that to us. However, we can't walk to the banana until we get those crocodiles moved. So I'm going to put my cursor right here and press return. And I'm going to add another for loop. Now, this is a for loop inside of a for loop. We've never done that before. So spacing, you're going to be really careful with your spacing. Because we want our C and crocodiles, we want them turning to the bananas. And in order to do that, we need to have a for loop. We need to be inside that B in order to be able to say turn to B. And then the monkey will step distance to B. Now, the way I did that, where I just put my cursor here and pressed return, made it super easy because they took care of my spacing. If you delete or do yours in a way where they're not taking care of the spacing, you have to look extra careful because our 4C and crocodile starts indented, but then what goes inside of that loop is indented from there. So right here, we actually have two tabs. This one is tricky. If we had been using uh, blocks, you would have just put a block inside of a block, a loop inside of a loop with your blocks, it would have been a piece of cake. Here, you need to pay extra close attention to your spacing. <laughs> 